Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, um, I want to start off with this video by saying that um, the, the facts I will be talking about can be found in the description box of this video. So, first of all, the Bible has not been changed. We have thousands upon thousands of ancient manuscripts to verify the Bible with. Um, the most famous of these being the Dead Sea Scrolls, which date back from 250 BC to 68 AD. Um, these facts will prove to you that the Bi Bible is credible and makes sense scientifically and is the Word of God. Some people will say that the Bible is just some book written by nomadic people thousands of years ago. Um, if it were not for the intervention of God, how would the nomadic people you talk about know these concrete scientific facts that I'll be talking about? Um, through, he, through His prophets and servants and through His people, God revealed to us hundreds of scientific facts before humans had any knowledge of them. And in this video, I'll be just talking about five of the hundreds that you can look up for yourself. Um, at a time of writing the scriptures, science told a complete different story and most of the scientific facts in the Bible were proven to be true just in the past few hundred years. So this means that the Bible was literally thousands of years ahead of its time. So in this video, like I said, I'll talk about just five of the hundreds of scientific facts found in the Bible. And also, like I said again, um, the, the facts I'll be talking about can be found in the description box of this video. So, fact number one. 2,000 years before um, scientific discovery, the, di the Bible described the cycle of air, the a cycle of air. This was recently just proven to be true. So Ecclesiastes um, chapter 1 verse 6, it says, the wind, goes the wind goes toward the south and turns about onto the north. It whirls about continually and the wind returns again according to its circuit. So uh, like I said, this was discovered before... Um, 2,000 years before science had um, any knowledge of this and the Bible clearly talked about it and this was proven, the cycle of air was proven to exist ju just recently. So fact number two, um, in the 16th century um, it was discovered that air actually has weight and the Bible mentioned this fact before its discovery. Job chapter 28 verse 25 it says to make the weight of the wind so it clearly says wind or air it has a weight and science dis discovered this in the tw in the 16th century and um, job was written thousands of years ago so it tells you how far ahead the bible of the bible was of its time fact number 3 so um hot water vents have been discovered at the bottom of the sea and in job chapter 38 verse 16 the bible says it says the springs of the sea and when this was written in the Bible humans did not have the technology to go 3,000 meters underwater to verify this fact this is proof that this is another proof that the Bible is the Word of God and humans would not have known that there's um, there's humans would not have known that there were springs in the sea without God telling them pretty much or speaking through his prophets Fact number four, um, um, science has come to understand that there's a relationship between a mental and physical health. The Bible actually mentioned this in numerous verses and one of this um, is Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 14 verse 30. It says, a sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy is the rottenness, rots the bones pretty much. That's what it says. Um, um, like I said, this is just one of the many verbs, verse, uh, just, this is one of the many verses the Bible talks about, 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 um, having a positive mind or a pa positive attitude that will positively affect your physical health. So, um, fact number five, um, th the Bible actually mentions how leprosy is spread long before science made the discovery in Levitic Leviticus, um, chapter 13, verse 46, it says, as long as they have the disease, they remain unclean. They must live alone. They must live outside the camp. So it's instructing um, the people, if anyone has leprosy, um, they, ha they have to go outside the camp. So they don't, spread it to, um, they don't spread it to other people through the air, through touching, and like usually how diseases are spread. And people would not have known this thousands of years ago. And this is just another proof that God intervened and gave gave him these instructions about if you're a leper, stay away from the other people so they don't become sick as well. So the Bible clearly reveals that leprosy can be spread to those near you, so it instructs the leper to stay away from someone who has not been affected. Um, this knowledge we take for granted now 
it's, it's it seems to be common sense. But remember, thousands of years ago, people did not know these things. Most of the facts in the Bible were, like I said, were proven to be true just in the past few hundred years when science just started really taking off. So the Bible is credible scientifically. It, it contains the facts that humans thousands of years ago could have only dreamed of the only dreamed of discovering on their own and without God these facts could not have been known so long ago when when technology was still so primitive so please wake up and also the Bible has hundreds of facts hundreds of more facts please do your own research if you are if you're still a skeptic and also in the description box of this video I have a message it talks about the end times and the second coming of the Son of Man please spread that message with that message please warn other people about what's coming up so when the rapture does happen, there they won't be um, they won't be caught off guard, and they'll be prepared, and they can um, really warn other people and bring more souls into the kingdom of heaven. If you're gonna print that out, give it to someone. If you're gonna um, post it on Facebook, do anything you can. Um, and um, thank you, God bless you, and all glory to God because all glory belongs to Him.